Hey friends, I'm Steph from CheapskateCook.com and welcome to my kitchen! Today we are going to talk about a delicious, easy, budget-friendly recipe that you can make with ground beef and potatoes. And by amazing, I mean practical, informative, mildly entertaining, because let's face it, this is a cooking video, it's not an epic trick shot video or something like that. My goal here at Cheapskate Cook is to show you practical, simple ways that you can save money and eat healthy at the same time. Sometimes that's a recipe, sometimes that is a kitchen tip or a grocery hack or a grocery haul or even just like a perspective shift because so often we think that you can't save money and eat healthy at the same time. But the reality is me and my family have been doing that for over 10 years. Do you have a favorite budget friendly recipe that doesn't involve pasta or cheese? If you do, I would love to see it in the comments. Drop a comment sharing your favorite recipe and if you have a link to that, then I would love to actually try your recipe. Today we're going to make what is currently one of the most popular recipes on my blog and that is picadilla. I got this recipe from my dear friend whose family is from Mexico and she gave me permission to share this recipe with you guys. But I also apologize because I'm probably not pronouncing picadilla correctly. Picadilla, picadilla, picadilla. This is just embarrassing and offensive. Now, picadilla is a Mexican beef and potato hash that's kind of stewy, kind of hashy, but it's really delicious really easy. It only takes like a couple of ingredients. If you like the sound of that, hit the like and subscribe button so that you can see more ways to save money and eat healthy. And let's get on with this recipe. How many of you guys grew up eating ground beef like all the time? <laughs> well, when I was growing up, this was like the primary meat that we ate. Actually, it wasn't even ground beef, it was ground turkey because ground turkey was less expensive than ground beef. But the reality is that this was a budget-friendly way to get some protein for our large family and so we just ate ground meat in a lot of different recipes. Now some people in my family kind of got burnt out with it and it's not their favorite, but I actually love ground beef because it is versatile, it's easy to stretch across multiple meals, it freezes easily, it's very simple to cook, and there are tons of delicious recipes that use ground meat. And I will say there is an appreciable difference between ground beef that is from a quality source like a local farm or it's organic. You know, the different standards are different wherever you live, but a quality ground beef versus the cheapest of the cheap ground beef, there's a big difference. Now the quality ground beef is still going to be probably less expensive than a lot of other cuts of beef. So as soon as we could afford it in our budget, we went ahead and started getting the quality ground beef. So it's still like the cheap, cheap stuff, but at least we're getting organic or we're getting it from our local farmer or something and it tastes so much better than the cheap stuff that you can get at the store. If all you can afford right now is the cheap stuff, no shame. Just do what you have to do and what works for you in this season. But if the time comes when you can kind of expand your options, don't feel like you have to go immediately to expensive cuts of beef because you can use all of the different methods for stretching the ground beef. You can, it's easy to cook, it's easy to freeze, all of that. It's just gonna taste way better. Can you hear all of the hammering that's going on outside? We've got houses being built literally right outside our window, like behind the camera and it is so loud out here. I really, well, it is what it is. This is real life. So for those of us who are trying really hard to cook budget-friendly food for our family, like things like spaghetti, macaroni and cheese, pasta, that kind of thing, they're all very budget-friendly and they're fairly easy to make. But if you have food allergies or you're just trying to steer away from some of the like more processed foods like pastas and stuff like that, then we need to branch out a little bit. And picadilla does that for us. It is delicious. It's just as easy as making like macaroni and cheese or spaghetti, but it uses potatoes as the primary starch. And even for someone like me who doesn't love potatoes, it's so delicious. Picadillo is also Whole30 friendly. So if you are on Whole30 or you're trying to avoid grains and you need a budget friendly recipe, try it. 
Traditionally, picadillo is made with raisins and olives. Now I know not everyone's going to love that combination, but I'm here to tell you, if you have olives and you have raisins, do it. It's so good. And it takes this dish from being like, oh, that's a good like beef and potato thingamajig, to can we please eat this every week? It is grain free, it is Whole30 approved, it is delicious and easy and budget friendly. Like, can't tell you all the reasons to make it, but just trust me, it is so worth making. Get the full recipe in the description below and there are also a ton of links there for other budget friendly dinners that I have on my site. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. I'm Steph from CheapskateCook.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more ways to save money and eat healthy. Do, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that this parsley is cilantro, because I don't have any cilantro. Don't forget to, don't forget to. Why are my fingernails black? My phone keeps dinging. I love it when friends text me that there's a problem with my site and I need to fix it. And, and, uh, is that eyeliner? Hey friends, I, wait, uh, stop. <laughs> right, but I actually love ground beet. I, beet. <laughs> ground beets, mm.